Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Joshua, chapter 1. Now it came about after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' servant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, cross this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am giving to them, to the sons of Israel. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads, I have given it to you, just as I spoke to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and as far as the great sea toward the setting of the sun, will be your territory. No man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as I have been with Moses, I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall give this people possession of the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you may have success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not tremble or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. As Joshua stepped into Moses' giant-sized sandals, he faced a tremendous challenge, bringing the Israelites into the Promised Land. The responsibility was huge, and we can surmise from the Lord's repeated commands to be strong and courageous that Joshua was probably not feeling up to the task. At one time or another, we all face obstacles that seem insurmountable. The question is, how will we respond? Some people try to push through or manipulate their way around the barriers, while others wallow in hopelessness and give up. But the Lord wants those of us who are believers to trust Him to perfectly handle each impediment. Any obstacle that stands between us and God's purpose is subject to His supernatural power. Most of us would readily agree that nothing is too difficult for the Lord, but fear and worry reveal our doubts. By focusing on the problem, we allow it to grow and block our view of Almighty God. Knowing the difficulty of Joshua's assignment, the Lord assured him that he would be successful in completing the mission. God's responsibility was to remove every hindrance that stood between the Israelites and the land He had promised to give them. Joshua's job was to believe the Lord and carefully obey all His commands. Obstacles are one way that our faith can grow. When you're confused and cannot see how God could work out your situation, do not walk away in defeat and miss His blessing. He wants to teach you His way of obedience, trust, and courage. Believe Him. He always keeps His promises. <music> 